Can the Prime Minister tell the House categorically, yes or no, did he make those remarks or remarks to that effect? Prime Minister. No, Mr Speaker. And I think what I think uh, the, the right honourable gentleman is a, is a lawyer, I'm given to understand. I think uh, that if he's going to repeat allegations like that, uh, he should come to this House and substantiate those allegations and say, and say where he heard them and who, who, exactly, who exactly is supposed to have said those. Who exactly is supposed to have said those things, Mr Speaker? Uh, because uh, what I certainly can tell him uh, and he asked about the October decisions. They were very bitter, very difficult decisions, as they would be for any Prime Minister, Mr Speaker, because no one wants to put this country uh, into a lockdown with all the consequences that means for loss of education, for the damage uh, to people's life chances, to the huge medical backlog that, that it entails. But it was thanks to that lockdown the tough decision that we took, Mr Speaker, that, that, and thanks to the heroic efforts of the British people that we have got through to the, this stage in the pandemic where we find ourselves rolling out our vaccine, where we've done 50 per cent of the population, 25 per cent of the adult population have now had two doses, Mr Speaker. And I wanna, I, I, lockdowns, lockdowns are miserable. Lockdowns are appalling things to have to do. But I, I have to say that I believe that we had absolutely no choice. He should know that I paid for uh, Downing Street refurbishment personally, uh, Mr Speaker. And I, contra I contrast it, uh, I contrast it uh, any, any, any further declaration that I have to uh, make, I will, uh, if, if any, will, I will be advised upon uh, by Lord Guy. Mr Speaker, it's been widely reported that Lord Brownlow, who just happens to have been given a peerage by the Conservative Party, was asked to donate £58,000 to help repay for the cost of this refurbishment. Can the Prime Minister, if he's so keen to answer, confirm, did Lord Brownlow make that payment for that purpose? Minister. Uh, Mr Speaker, I think I've I answered this question uh, several times now, and, and the, ans the answer is that I have covered the costs, I have met the uh, requirements that I've been obliged to meet in full. Answer the question. That's what the public scream at their televisions every PMQs. Answer the question. The Prime Minister hasn't answered the question. He knows he hasn't answered the question. He never answers the question. The Prime, Minister, the Prime Minister will be aware that he is required to declare any benefits that relate to his political activities, including loans or credit arrangements, within 28 days. 28 days, Prime Minister, yes. He will also know that any donation must be recorded in the register of ministers' interests and that under the law any donation of over £500 to a political party must be registered and declared. So the rules are very clear. The Electoral Commission now think that there are reasonable grounds to suspect that an offence or offences may have occurred. That's incredibly serious. Can the Prime Minister tell the House, does he believe that any rules or laws have been broken in relation to the refurbishment of the Prime Minister's flat? Prime Minister. No, I don't, Mr Speaker. What, what, I, what, I, what, I, what I believe has been strained to breaking point is the credulity of the public. Uh, he has half an hour every week uh, to put serious and sensible questions to me about the state of the pandemic, about the vaccine rollout, about what we're doing to support our, our NHS, about what we're doing to fight crime, about what we're doing to bounce back from this uh, pandemic, about the economic recovery, about jobs for the people of this country. And he goes on and on, Mr Speaker, about wallpaper when, as I've told him umpteen times now, I paid for it.